Oh, hi, ladies. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just rehearsing for an audition. You're an actor. <laughs> well, yeah. 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. They like that I do my own stunts. Abby, this is a Daniel Cassidy, owner and operator, not to mention Ray's resident movie star. Oh, thanks. This place is just a little side dish for me. I'm impressed. Well, in that case, I have a movie poster for you. I'd be happy to sign it. Yes! <laughs> yes! It's the choker for me. That's Ian Ziering starring in the new horror, swamp, uh, horror series Swamp Thing on Fox. Hi, Ian. Brother. Hi. You might need to How rock, are you guys? You might need to rock the choker on a regular basis, man. I like man. the choker, the look, the whole thing. Y yeah, you know, my character's got a bit of an edge. He wears jewelry, his bracelets, the choker. It's um, a little bit of a departure from anything. He's cocky. Um, so it was amazing playing this guy who ultimately turns into the Blue Devil. Ooh. Ah. It's like a dream come true for me. Tell me about that. Have you always loved comics? Like, tell me about landing this role. Oh, my gosh. When I was a little kid, my friends, we'd all have comics. And we'd go to each other's houses, and we'd look at each other's comic books, and we'd have silly putty, and we would grind it into the pages to see if we could pull the print and do all those things. I mean, mm. what eight-year-old boy didn't run around with a cape and a sword in his hand at some point in his life? I'm that guy. When I got the audition for this, literally the eight-year-old boy inside of me, like, screamed. I was so excited, knowing this was a DC project, mm -hmm. knowing that I was auditioning for the Blue Devil, and to be a part of the Swamp Thing universe was... I don't know, it was a dream come true. I, I workshopped the audition, and I went in, and uh, I nailed it. I got the part, did and you, uh, did you find we're going to see it tomorrow so night. Great. Did you find out immediately? Was it like, oh, yeah, he's, it's Ian. It's, he's the guy. Um, you know what? I did not find out that night, but uh, I, they didn't even call me back. I just got booked the next day, and the producers were very kind. They, they saw what I was delivering, and... Uh, they felt that I nailed it, and I was the guy in the room. So, uh, you know, you can't be that lucky all the time. You can't be the guy every time, and I know that. I deal with a lot of rejection as an actor, but this is something that I just not only wanted, I felt like I needed this. <laughs> I needed this. We were so psyched when we heard this. Yeah. There's so much buzz surrounding this show. Do your daughters know you're the Blue Devil? Oh. How are they feeling about this? <laughs> Yeah, my, my little uh, six-year-old at the time, I called her when I was in makeup from the set, and I'm talking to her as the Blue Devil, and she's like, ah, Dad, what happened to you? And she knew I was working, and so she's running around school, look at my dad, look at my dad, showing them the FaceTime, and uh, it's just the best, you know, when I could do things that, that really light up the kids, it's, uh, it just makes what I do uh, so, so much more joyful for me. It's great. You were talking about, right before we, we started the interview, you were talking about maximizing the dad experience. And, and it felt like you oh, were yeah. talking about like soaking up all the good, all the bad. Just you want to be all there all the time. It's incredible. Yeah. Did you see the tie-dye shirts? Put up Every the tie-dye level... shirts as you answer. Good Lord, those are hard to make. Right? Oh, yeah. You know what? With a little Google instruction, you can figure out how to do it. Anybody can figure out how to do it. And, you know, I'm always looking for, uh, for creative, artistic things to do with the kids, whether it's arts and crafts in the backyard or uh, inside the house painting, whatever it is. You know, we're indoors a lot and got to find creative outlets for them. And it's very challenging, whether it's food or arts and crafts or play or jump rope, a, a trampoline I've got coming next week just to you know, put a little activity in their lives. It's it's just so challenging. There's just difficult times right now having to homeschool the kids. I, it looks like you have taken a trip. But I'm reveling in it. It looks like you've taken a trip up to Martha Stewart's... Yeah, uh, where are you? Where are you right Gorgeous now? location on your farm. This is, uh, this is the Hollywood Hills. This is uh, Nichols Canyon. I would love to say it's like a chateau in <laughs> southern France, but no, I'm uh, probably about five miles from where you guys are. Um, I've been living here for 28 years, believe it or not, wow. and uh, this is my home. It's a little, you know, not very grandiose, it's, but it's mine, and this is the house that uh, 90210 made possible for me, uh, and I've been here, like I said, for 28 years. Wow, yeah, you just Quiet. had the big reunion. How was it seeing everybody? <laughs> Oh, it was great. You know, I see these people all the time. Mm -hmm. We worked together, not last summer, the summer before, up in Canada with those 6BH90210 episodes that we did. And we've all stayed friends. I mean, when you go through such a, an experience uh, at an early age, it kind of 
bonds you together. Mm -hmm. And they're like brothers and sisters to me. We share in each other's uh, accomplishments or their joys and, you know, support whenever there's any adversity. So we're, we're all still pretty close and it's really nice to see all the ancillary characters they, that they brought on in that little podcast was really great. It was just, you know, to think it was 30 years ago. 30 it's just years astonishing ago. to me. I, don't, I feel 30 years old. <laughs> but that was 30 years ago. How could it even be? Do you ever play the theme song, just ba -na -na -na, sh -sh in your house, and just do the look? Kit does the no, sh -sh no, early <laughs> every time. I swear to God, we do it in my house. My husband and I love it. We were just down in Manhattan Beach, and we saw the little beach house where Kelly Taylor lived for a while. Yeah. Yeah, with Donna. So yep. we, we took pictures. <laughs> Kit was actually for we, real We don't out. really run around doing that in our house. <laughs> yeah. I have yet to, to, I have the entire show on a hard drive, and it's not the ones from the CD, the box set. It's the actual shows with the actual musicians from the day. Um, so I'm going to, when the kids are a little bit older, I'm going to, yes. uh, to watch it with them. I know Jason watches it with his kids. They're a little older than mine. When they're old enough to understand what's happening and we could have conversations just like adults did with their kids when the show originally aired, it mm -hmm. created a bridge to talk about sensitive issues. I'll, I'll broach that when it's time. I can't wait. They need some Steve Sanders cool in their life. Steve Sanders was. <laughs> oh, yes. A little peach pit action. <laughs> wait, so we've, we've heard there's, Absolutely. there's actually something from 90210 oh, yeah. that maybe you want to show Should us? we look away? Yeah, should we? Have, oh. should we, we heard there's oh, no yeah. eye no, contact, what? Steve. It's, Steve Sanders. <laughs> That's I don't know where that came uh, First of all, I, I, look at this. This is uh, a jukebox that I pulled off the set when we stopped From working Peach in Peach Pit that day. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Can, can you oh, be yeah. showing this, this right now? They're going to track you down? This is incredible. Joey Tata is going to come oh, get no, you. No, they knew I took it. They, they knew, knew I took they it. Knew we wrapped that set, it. and I, I held it, and they're like, where are you going with that? And I said... I'm going home. We're done here, right? And they're like, yeah. I said, well, I'm taking this. There's still a piece of the counter. That is you can see awesome. Where I see? It up. Can you see this? See? So, uh, so is this is a piece of the counter. No, no. This is mine. <laughs> so is it, t tell us, Ian, is this about the time where you, you started the whole don't look me right yeah, in the what's eye the thing? the no eye look? It's so funny. You know what? I, I don't know. I heard Jessica Alba say that, and I, I can't. For the life of me, ever imagine a situation where any of the actors would say that? You for know, those of you at home it, who are like, What's I'm not happening? doubting that that was her experience. For those of you at home who are trying to figure yeah. out what is going on, so they did this Zoom where it was kind of like a reunion, and Jessica Alba was like, Yeah, so apparently we were told, you know, as like uh, guest stars, do not look the OG uh, cast in the eye. And everybody, to, to the and OG Tori cast, and Jenny were eyes. like, Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we, we never heard that. If anything, if anybody said something, it must have been one of the, uh, maybe the second assistant director, whoever, for whatever reason, I, you know, that doesn't even make sense. Acting is acting and reacting. You have to look at who you're talking to. It just, it just doesn't make sense. None of the actors, none of my castmates ever requested anything like that. How that was told to Jessica is, uh, you know, it saddens me because it lessened the experience for her. It certainly didn't slow her down in life, but... Um, you know, it's it's hard to hear that there was any negativity on the set. And uh, if I had known about that, I would have shot that down immediately. I would have went. I didn't even work with her that day, but I would have went right over to her and said, "How you doing?" Well, it's weird because hey, it's in Mario. Doing? It's in Mario Lopez's writer now. Yeah. And we can't look him in we the eye. We can't look at all when he comes down that oh, hallway. Really? We look away. <laughs> right. We look away. Yeah. He's like, oh, well, hey, how are you, Mr. And it was Mr. the Wolfen? same with you know? Priestley, right? Priestley to this day, it's like you got to do the down up, right? You right. don't look him straight in the eye. It's like looking at the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Miss Priestley. <laughs> you know, what if you got one eye looking at you and one eye looking for you? It's, you're, you're screwed. Oh, well, man. Ian, we're so happy for everything going you, on in your life. Congrats on this series. This is so great. So really good to see you. Right? Yeah, Swamp Thing. Swamp oh, it's going to be awesome. Baby. We're so excited. You can catch Swamp Thing Tuesday nights on the CW. Great job. Good to see you, man.